Paul Cole, the Kiwi, number four seed, the World Championship finalist last year, taking on Ali Farag, the current world number one and number two seed, previous winner of this event. He's from Egypt. Silver medalist of World Championship Doha 2019-2020. From New Zealand, the Superman, Paul Cole. And now, welcome to the glass court, the winner of Qatar Classic Championship 2018. From Egypt, world number one, Mr. Fantastic Ali Farag. Too late taking in that forehand drop. Yeah, a bit of momentum building now from Farag. This is where Paul Cole needs to lock down again. Yeah, that is absolutely brilliant from Farag. Slightly loose from Cole. Backhand volley drop, just chopped into that and front left-hand corner. Even the oh dear, he needed that. Yeah, it was teed it up nicely here, Farag. Good counter drop into the front and left corner. Slightly loose drop. cross court from Cole. That's two, a gift. Two game balls for Farag. Yeah, He's cut it out. Good. Yeah, the width. You cannot hit a shallow game width, game whether you're going forehand or backhand to forehand to against Ali Farag. Didn't make the error on that one. He made that count. This is great work from Paul Cole. Down. Another, that was more than an error, PJ. That was a real miss hit from Farag. It's the third of the game, Joey. Five Just starting to see a little bit the, the, the timing of Farag has gone off ever so slightly. Interesting movement, that. that one, though. We were going forward I think he got himself into a bit of a poor situation there, though, Paul Colt. It wasn't a great shot initially, was it? Watch this one here. Oh, that's terrific. Quality stuff from both players, and even the dive from Superman. Unable to retrieve the cross-court flick from Farag. Paul Cole will go off and get the mop to sort that out. Paul Cole responding with the help of Ali Farag, and he takes it first time. 11-6, game to Cole, one game all. So game on in this men's final here in Qatar. And he's making unforced errors, Farag. He's making more unforced errors. In, I've not seen him produce that many unforced errors in finals, but it, at the moment it's... Um, it's considerable, but Paul Cole is pressurising as he's done very well throughout this event, particularly in the latter stages. Yeah, I need you to do a masterclass at some point on the hold. Have everyone rocking and rolling, PJ. <laughs> it's nicely anticipated from Cole. So pretty short exchanges at the mid-stage of this third game. Oh, he's got the lucky one. Farag kept his footing. Oh, he's hanging on for dear life, Paul Cole, but he's managed to get himself in a decent position. Oh, he's, oh, he's only whiffed that it. That is the bizarre shot, but it's he's got the rally. <laughs> he's a smile from Farag. It's quite funny. It was one of your shots when you we're learning how to hit the ball, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> he wants the warmer, bouncier ball. I don't know how he's got that cross-court Farag. 
He's done it again. It's terrific. He's Holding the pressure. swing. Oh! oh! Soft hands from Farag. The way he adjusts and moves the body, though, Joey. Watch here. He's on the backhand side. Then he quickly turns and fakes oh. it into that front left-hand corner. Yeah, it was beautiful. That's an absolute joke. The way he covers the court. I've got to see that again, PJ, after this. I really want to see his recovery to get out of the way of the ball initially from Paul Cole to give him a position to play. This is brilliant pressure from Paul Cole. He's not played a bad shot. All rally and he's missed it. Unbelievable from Farag. Well, How Paul on Cole, earth did he win that rally? I don't know. He's waiting for the midcourt. You could just see he was pouncing. He was waiting. That's the movement. The clearance round Cole and then back. I mean, the feet. A lot of them. It's just a bit short from Cole. Wrong shot, Farag waited in the wings there, PJ. Didn't Anticipated move. the straight, he knew it was happening. Watch this, there and five all. Flicking it past Paul. It's a big push here from Farag. Makes the error. Paul Cole absolutely screams the house down. Two errors in a row from Ali Farag, clipping the top of the tin. Eight to nine. The loping stride of Farag. Oh, that was strange. Absolutely got it. unbelievable. Ali Farag <laughs> finishes <laughs> it. Paul Cole sprawled on the floor. Three games to one. Ali Farag holds on for dear life to close out. Paul Cole couldn't have left any more on there, particularly in that rally. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, when it comes to the big points, Ali Farag really does know how to finish it, PJ. I mean, what a rally to finish as well. I mean, he sensed that Cole was just starting to kind of struggle a little bit. I mean, point after point from Farag, the movements from Superman just couldn't get this final backhand cross court nick up. And there he is sprawled out. He left everything on the court this evening. And there you see the relief of Farag. Unbelievable performance from the world number one. Frustration for Colt. Just over the hour mark, their average match time, 57 minutes coming into this. We've had 62. Some very entertaining squash in very cold conditions. Ali Farag converting three games to one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your Qatar Classic 2020 champion from Egypt. Mr. Fantastic, Ali Farag. Congratulations, uh, Ali. It hasn't been easy for you as well. Two years ago, you were here rising up your trophy. How does it feel that it's uh, only two years and you are here again? lifting this nice trophy. Yeah, first time I couldn't believe it, and this time around I can believe it even more, you know. When I was younger, I used to watch the Qatar Classic and uh, see all the, the, the great names of our, our sport uh, lifting that trophy, and I could, I could only imagine of, of being uh, standing there one day, and to do it twice uh, is, is, is an amazing feeling, but just, uh, I'd like to thank a few people here first. Uh, Paul, you know, uh, we've been playing with each other for uh, f a good few years now, it's never easy. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't mind me saying that, but he wasn't necessarily a very good junior. He's not necessarily the most talented, but I mean, uh, he's just a, a living example of, of an inspiration. You know, uh, uh, if you put your, your head down and go on with your business uh, uh, and work hard, you can achieve anything you want in life. And uh, I have no doubt that he'll, uh, he'll, he will reach even higher levels that he've already reached. So yeah, lots of admiration. 
ladies and gentlemen, your Qatar Classic 2020 champion, Ali Faragga.